Diddy is far more evil than you think. From that owning doesn't make him evil just because he traps did. his victims both. to secret underground tunnels below his house. These are 10 of the he weirdest facts about Diddy. You thought that he First liked up, women, but I he don't. didn't know, Diddy is a little too close Ask him not to kiss his mom, mom and he in won't. In IG Live from 2022, not only did he kiss his mom on the lips, but he also admitted to something weird. <laughs> yeah, my mom's single. Yeah, for real. Mm -hmm. Mom, do know how to have a good time. She ain't sitting in the house playing. They're outside moving and shaking, baby. She come with me to strip club. I don't care. Real. But the family ties here are even weirder in number nine. Because what if I told you weird crimes run in Diddy's entire family? Really? See, this is Diddy's son, Christian Combs. And it's really weird how similar he is to his father. Like in 2022, when a woman named Grace Omar Cake was working on Diddy's yacht as a bartender. See, at first, everything was going great. People were drinking, dancing, and having fun. But then, as the day went on, Grace started to feel sick and really weird. And shortly after that, she found herself cornered in a room with Christian. And this is where he would allegedly harass and assault her. So in this audio that CNN has listened to, you can specifically hear the accuser who alleges that she was being forced to take this tequila shot that she believed was laced with drugs. And in the audio, you can hear her asking Christian Combs if she was being drugged. And he answers, take the shot. After struggling with Christian, trying to get away, she was finally able to escape, but she never forgot about that day. Because in April 2024, Grace finally sued Christian for drugging and assaulting her and causing her emotional distress. And luckily, she had the help of music producer Lil Rod Jones to prove it was all true. Because reportedly, he was not only in the same room when it happened, but he actually has recordings of the entire incident. So while this case is still going on, Christian could end up just like his father and face multiple years in prison. Yeah. But look, did he- we all saw that one coming. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm lying. I didn't. I really did not. I thought Ja Rule was true blue. He just suburban gangbanger, man. We, I, I know a lot of them. That. So I opened the door. Star rapper Meek Mill. But look, Diddy's been screwing artists for years. Because for number seven, we got to mention the fact that Diddy has ruined the childhood of some of the biggest musicians of all time. See, it all starts in 2016 when Usher was giving an interview on The Howard Stern Show where he revealed to the world that he had attended something called the Puffy Flavor Camp when he was just 13 years old. I moved to New York City and I lived with Sean Puffy Combs for a year. That's the crazy thing. Now, that yeah. was L.A. Reid's idea, right? We're sending New you over York to City. something called Puffy Flavor Camp. There you go. <laughs> Mind you, Diddy was 23 years old at the time, living with Usher while he was a child. But that's not even the craziest part. Because after doing some digging, it became clear that Diddy has been grooming artists for years. Aubrey O'Day. I don't understand how he can be so rich and so thirsty. Like, come on. What? A Lil Rod, Young Miami, Daphne Joy, and Cassie have all spoken about being harassed and groomed by Diddy when they were underage, with some no. of them even filing lawsuits against him for it. But there's one star who hasn't spoken up, and I can't help to think that Diddy has groomed him as well. I'm talking about Justin Bieber. See, when Justin was just 15 years old, he released a video with Diddy saying the two of them were gonna spend the next 48 hours together and they were gonna go crazy. Check this out, yo. Um, Justin, he's in, you ever seen the movie 48 Hours? Right now, he's having 48 hours with Diddy, him and his oh. boy. Um, they're having no. the times of their lives, like, like, no. like, you know, where we hanging out and what we doing, we, we can't really disclose, but, um, it's definitely a 15 year old's dream. I don't really, I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours, he's with me. So, um, and, and, and we gonna go full, buck full crazy. Yeah, kind of weird saying you're gonna go crazy with a 15 year old. But just a few years later, the two of them made a follow up video where Diddy pressed Justin, asking him why he hadn't been calling him back. And well, just pay attention to how Justin reacts to everything. Everything's good. Everything's Selling right. out arenas and everything. Yeah. Starting to act different, huh? No. You, you, ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you haven't. I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, business, you know, partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But you, you never really got, got my number, so. Correct. Right. Okay. Number? Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. Tell you my number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In context of everything we know today about Diddy and Puffy Pardon? Flavor Camp. It's clear to see he at least tried to put Justin through the exact same thing these other artists experienced. 
All I can say is, I hope Justin's good. Now for number six, I bet you had no idea Diddy got nine people killed to make himself famous. See, in December of 1991, Diddy was just beginning to make a name for himself, but he wanted to do whatever it took to become the new face of hip hop. So we decided he'd host a celebrity basketball game in New York. Problem was, he did almost no planning. So by the time the game started, over 5,000 people showed up to an arena that could only hold half of that. And just minutes before tip off, all hell broke loose. Cause all the people that didn't make it in broke past the barriers and stormed into the arena, knocking down security guards and crushing anyone who got in their way. But then thousands more come, I'm talking about like almost, I would say like it was like 10,000 people outside. And they were just crushing people down at the bottom of the stairs. They're saying, you see people just lay out. Like I'm talking about kids completely limp, laid out. We got a lot of people here dead in the gymnasium, please. But to Diddy, it was worth it. That's really how I started to become famous. It was through a tragedy. I remember one time somebody said, like, you're a tragic hero. And I said, what does that mean? And they were like, oh, in Shakespeare, he always has a tragic hero. Now look. Diddy definitely shouldn't be proud of number five. Cause I bet you didn't know, the only reason Diddy has changed his name is- Ooh, is cause he was dating Tupac? I mean, Biggie? I mean, Meek Mill? That's your Justin? To cover up his crimes. See, over the years, Diddy's done some of the craziest things ever to hide evidence. I mean, this man literally used to use self-destructing invites to his white parties. He used to invite me to your, to your parties. <laughs> I know, you did. Yeah. You did. I remember I got an invite from you once. This is true. You used to have these crazy parties, and one invite was it, uh, it self destructed. After, it was you yeah. talking, yeah. and it said yes. you gave I remember. the yes. information of where the party was, and then it said yes. you, this message was self destructed. I'm very, I'm very high concept. And on top of that, in 2023, it was reported he paid a hotel $50,000 to destroy a tape of him assaulting his own wife. But Diddy knew if he was going to keep committing crimes, he needed a way to keep his reputation clean. So every time he broke a law, he started to change his name. Like in the 1990s, when he assaulted an Interscope Records employee and immediately changed his name from Puffy to Puff Daddy. Or like the time he was arrested for a shooting in a New York nightclub and he changed his name from Puff Daddy to P. Diddy. He ended up changing his name three times in 10 years. But even that wasn't enough because he eventually switched his name to just Diddy after being charged with bribery and criminal possession of a weapon. By 2021, after the accusations started piling up against him, Diddy decided to completely change his identity and decide his new name was Love. Yeah, just Love. And after assaulting literally everyone he came in contact with, he changed his name back to Diddy, thinking no one would catch on to his plan. That is, until his former security guard, Gene Deal, came out to expose him to the world. Being Diddy Rich takes a guy that once named was Puffy, that after every tragedy he had in his life, he had to change his name. Puffy, Puff Daddy, Diddy, Brother Love, Love. Diddy can try to hide all he wants, but even he knew this wouldn't last forever. Because what if I told you, for number four on our list, Diddy predicted his own downfall. See, for years, celebrities have been trying to warn us about Diddy, and we had no idea what they were talking about. Like, watch how Mike Tyson moves Diddy's hand away from his leg during an interview in 1998. You are awesome for that. Because for Mike Tyson to be who he is, and to not just jaw Diddy for that and then claim PTSD like I would do, I'd slap him. I'll wait till we get back behind somewhere else, like where we ain't on national TV, but I'll slap him. It take a lot of emotional control not to hurt a dude that's trying to Diddy. Let me see. Oh, yeah, he's he literally. He's literally. He's literally. Yeah. Well, now when we come back, we're gonna. Or look, listen to what Rosie O'Donnell said about Diddy in 2000. A lot of multiple nominees, multiple Grammy nominees this year. Lauren Hill's got. Rosie O'Donnell don't count. Ain't nobody trying to hit Rosie. Four, TLC's got eight, and Sean Combs, five to ten. Oh, <laughs> 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 and I don't think he's going to jail. Right. All right, I don't mean to be mean, because, I mean, he's a nice guy, and he can really sing, sing. Oh, oh, lady. Hell, Cat Williams tried to warn us in 2023, saying all lies would be exposed soon. All of these deviants is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. T.G. Jakes, any of them, the, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. 
But the weirdest person to predict Diddy's downfall was Diddy himself. Because in 1999, well, Diddy like sat down with E.T. for an interview when he predicted exactly what would happen. They won't even give me a permit for the parties, man. They don't want me to throw the parties no more. But we, we ain't gonna stop. We gonna keep on having fun, bringing people together from all walks of life. You gonna hear about my parties. They're gonna be shutting them down. They're gonna probably be arresting me, doing all types of crazy things just because we want to have a good time. But look, I bet you had no idea about number three on our list. The fact that Diddy tried to kill three of the top rappers of all time. Damn. See, back in the 90s, the rap game was dominated by two of the greatest to ever do it. Biggie Smalls, who at the time was Diddy's best friend and was even signed to Diddy's Bad Boy record label. And their rival, West Coast rapper Tupac. I sold five million in two months. Biggie out been out two years. He's barely touching two million. He got everybody in New York in his videos and still barely touching two million. I've been out two months. My shit sold five million with two videos out. I'm just starting. But by 1996, Tupac was the number one rapper in the world. And everyone either wanted to be him or work with him. I know that Biggie and Puffy are here tonight. Did you see them? Do you have anything to say to them at all? Nah, but if we even if we saw them, we are businessmen. We are not animals. It's not like we're gonna see them and rush them. So if they wanna come and use this business opportunity to get on some gangster, you know, we do that better than anybody. But unfortunately, it was short-lived. Because on September 7th, Tupac was shot in his car. Trouble-plagued rapper and actor Tupac Shakur is dead at the age of 25, just about a week after sustaining four bullet wounds last Saturday night in Las Vegas. See, at the time, nobody was arrested for his death. And for years, people theorized that Diddy was behind it. And that he- Man, I saw a video of Tupac when he was in acting class, and he was obviously having very feminine body language. I don't care. Pretty sure Puffy was puffing Biggie Smalls. I don't care. We all saw how Diddy was staring directly into Mason's anus. We don't, we, you know what I mean? We. <laughs> he had hired somebody to kill Tupac all because he was jealous of his success. Oh, but in 2023, yeah. 27 years after Tupac's death, a man named Keith D was finally arrested in connection to the murder. And while he was being interrogated by police, he claimed Diddy paid him $1 million to do it. But it goes way deeper than just that. Because right after Tupac's death, Biggie Smalls became Diddy's next target. See, at one point, Diddy and Biggie were a little too close. I look at him like, Jesus. I say, Jesus. And the uh, next question oh, is. But eventually, Biggie got tired of whatever that was and told Diddy he was done with Bad Boy Records. In Diddy's eyes, this was a big mistake. Because if we know anything about Diddy, it's that he hates competition. So he- I ain't never seen none of them clips, bro. Come on, man. There's nothing on his hand, though. Come on, man. Shit. He flew Biggie out to California to finish recording his new album and convinced him to stay on Bad Boy's label. But during one of Biggie's recording sessions, a group of West Coast gangsters pulled up to the studio, guns loaded, and shot and killed Biggie. Biggie was loved in the neighborhood. His funeral was a massive event. When someone put on hypnotize, the whole place erupted. After all this happened, people began to question why Diddy would fly Biggie out when he knew Tupac just got shot. Well, Gene Deal, Diddy's former security guard, says it was all because Diddy wanted to set Biggie up. Why the hell would you rent studio time in LA for him to finish your album when in fact you got your own studio at daddy's house. Let's keep it a buck. Let's stop this bullshit, man. Puff ain't want none of that beef. So what I'm gonna do is, y'all want the sheep? I'm gonna put him out the pasta. But guess what? This man is still trying to kill rappers to this day. Cause earlier in 2024, we learned something horrifying. Apparently, Diddy's ex-wife Cassie was flirting with Kid Cudi in 2012. And according to another one of Diddy's ex-bodyguards, Roger Bonds, Diddy got so jealous, he had someone go to Cuddy's car and throw a Molotov cocktail inside the sunroof. Mr. Combs told Miss Ventura that he was going to blow up Kid Cuddy's car and then he wanted to ensure that Kid Cudi was home with his friends when it happened. I heard about that. I definitely heard about that. And uh, I found it quite funny that the car actually did get blow up. So I, I would say that was accurate. Now, luckily, Cuddy wasn't inside of the car at the time, but this attempt to kill Cuddy is one of the dozens of charges Diddy is currently facing while locked up in prison. Now look, 
When you look at what Diddy's life was like when he was a kid, it all starts to make sense. Because for number two on our list, there's no way you knew Diddy's childhood shaped him into a monster. See, when Diddy was growing up, he had a rough childhood in the Bronx. And when he was just three years old, his father got involved in a drug deal gone wrong and was shot and killed instantly. My father, he was killed when I was three years old. I don't have like a lot of memories of my father. Diddy's mom knew immediately she had to get her family out the hood. So she moved her and Diddy to Mount Vernon in New York, hoping for a fresh start. But the town that was supposed to give them a better life actually ruined both their lives. Because while Diddy was enrolled in private school, she was never around, having to work three jobs to pay for the tuition. So with no mom and no dad around, Diddy turned into a monster. It first started with him selling drugs. I sold drugs for like a day and I got chased by helicopters, doors got kicked down. It probably like the unluckiest day for a drug dealer. <laughs> I tried selling drugs too, man. It didn't go good. It was only weed, man. It, it just, it was a, so much work, man. I was willing to do anything to get to it. After that, Diddy also lost his virginity at only 12 years old. And Diddy was also constantly getting into fights with other kids. Yeah. But one of those fights turned Diddy into the man he is today. My grandma sent me to the store to get a cigarettes all the time. This one time somebody, um, a kid came up to me and said, if I didn't give him my money, he would beat me up. So I gave him my money. I came back home without the cigarettes. So my mother had told me if I didn't go back and get the money, I couldn't come home. And I left crying. I found a guy that told me he had to give me the money back. And then we, we had a fight and he kind of beat me up. But I told him like, I couldn't go home. And he beat me up all at once. I couldn't go home unless I had got the money. Well, my mother, she was dead serious. I could have stayed out there for days. My mother was, I guess, raising me for the real world. She was always told me if somebody hit me, make sure I hit them back hard. Oh, yeah. Make sure they never hit me again. Oh, yeah. Make sure I fucked them up. But look, yeah, we still have on, one me. final fact to mention, and it's so weird, it's actually terrifying. See, when charges started piling up against Diddy in 2024, word got out about his infamous parties he held. And while the parties themselves were crazy enough, there was something evil going on behind closed doors. Something that Diddy refers to as freak offs. These freak offs were so crazy, I can't even talk about them on YouTube. But what I can say is, there was gallons of alcohol, large quantities of baby oil, and the people that participated were given IVs just to keep them alive. It's important to know that people were involved in these freak offs that were sometimes forced and held against their will. I mean, even Diddy himself told the entire world in 2002 that he keeps women locked up. If you don't have what they need, they're gonna leave. Right. Gotta right. keep them there. Right. You need, you need locks on the doors. <laughs> okay, this Let's, is sounding kind of dangerous now. It's a little kinky, but yeah, you know, yeah. While people who have attended Diddy's parties have admitted to seeing some crazy things, the actual freak-offs were held somewhere else, somewhere nobody else had access to. And when news broke in September of 2024 that Diddy's house featured underground tunnels which led to a cave, one can only assume these tunnels and the freak offs were somehow connected. Now with that same report in September, it was revealed there were over 1,000 bottles of baby oil that had been seized from Diddy's house. Court documents now reveal authorities located AR-15s, narcotics, and more than 1,000 bottles of baby oil lubricant in those raids. Now I can't think of a single good reason to have that much baby oil in someone's house. And well, there's a popular theory the baby oil is a disguise for a form of liquid ecstasy he had been drugging his victims for the freak offs. Probably lube. And when you think about it, it all makes sense. Cause sure, owning a thousand bottles of baby oil is weird, but it's not illegal. I mean, why else would the police seize every single bottle if they weren't suspicious of something? And well, Diddy's lawyer even tried to cover for him. Uh, I don't think it was a thousand. I think it was a lot. I mean, there's a Costco right down the street. You know, I think Americans buy in bulk as we know. But immediately after that, Costco responded saying, none of the company's locations carry baby oil. No matter what the truth may be, one thing's for sure. Diddy is not the person we all thought he was. And the truth about him will be revealed soon. Nah, he's exactly who we thought he was. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Twists.